Dr. Gabriel Jesus says the Omicron variant remains the dominant strain globally with more than 300 variants tracked. He says several countries are still reporting high numbers of cases of COVID-19, hospitalizations and deaths. This is attributed to change of weather, socializing as well as relaxation in COVID protocols. We continue to call on all countries to increase surveillance, testing and sequencing and to ensure the most at-risk groups are vaccinated. At the same time, the Northern Hemisphere influenza season is starting. Measures introduced to curb the spread of COVID-19 during the pandemic also help to reduce the burden of flu. But with most of these measures lifted, flu is back and should not be taken lightly. Flu vaccines are safe and effective in reducing severe disease and death, especially among the most at-risk groups. So please get your flu vaccine. Another disease making an unwelcome comeback is cholera. The World Health Organization is currently responding to global health issues such as cholera in 27 countries, various virus outbreaks in Pakistan, Ebola in Uganda, skin diseases such as monkeypox and contaminated medicines. The WHO needs about 82.5 million US dollars to assist countries in health services. However, more donors are needed to come on board. Dr. Gabriel also touched on Ebola, saying vaccines currently used for the disease in Uganda, which is caused by Sudan virus, is not effective. However, the vaccine to treat it is being produced. So far, Uganda has 63 cases, including 10 healthcare workers, with 29 deaths, of which 10 are healthcare workers. In addition, he says WHO has identified four potential medical products that are contaminated in Gambia that have potentially been linked to kidney injuries that caused 66 deaths among children. He stated that cough and cold syrups used for treatment are produced by Maiden Pharmaceuticals Limited in India. WHO is busy conducting an investigation with Maiden Pharmaceutical and is urging countries to remove all the products from circulation to prevent further harm to patients. Dr. Gabriel said various viruses are rapidly spreading around the world and countries are encouraged to strengthen their capacity to fight pandemics.